Okay, quick quiz. What's the lowest life form on Earth? Um, a maggot on a slug's butt? No, you're not thinking low enough. Oh, you mean the guys who take pictures for the National Enquirer? Good call. They're called paparazzi, which is Italian for a painful warp between your toes. Ow! Ow! I've got a big, ugly paparazzi! Okay, now what's the deal? There's a lot of digital video here of people who may or may not look anything like celebrities, and they're mugging shamelessly for the camera. This doesn't seem like a very realistic simulation. It's not a simulation, you goofball, it's comedy. The mugging you're talking about is called shtick, and it's guaranteed to produce side-splitting big-time belly laughs. Comedy, huh? Kind of a Saturday Night live -y sort of thing? These people would kill to be as funny as Saturday Night Live, which is really kind of sad when you think about it. But there's a game, too. Wow, comedy and a game. Two, two, two thingies in one. Well, sort of. You know how funny the comedy was? Well, that's about how much fun the game is to play. Ooh, that ain't good. And the really unfortunate thing is, I don't think it could have been made any better. The design is about as good as it can get. It's like trying to build a house with nothing but jello. It doesn't matter how careful you make the plans, it's not going to stand up to inhabitants very well. And that's not even addressing the privacy issues. You can see right through that stuff. You are a scum of the earth celebrity photographer. So's your mama. In the game, nitwit. You have to try to establish yourself by taking pictures of all 24 stars in Tinseltown in just two short weeks. Each day gives you four chances to take those great shots, two in the morning and two in the evening. There are 13 locations to visit in Tinseltown according to this map. How can they possibly expect you to catch a star with those odds? Well, you're not alone. There are six paparazzi that you can play and you can change at any time. So if you miss your big opportunity on the first try, take another sleaze ball and try again. There are, in fact, shades of difference between the sleaze balls involved. You mean some bottom feeders are more loathsome than others? Exactly. On your score screen, you have an integrity rating that goes right below the amount of money you make. Just like it probably does in your priority system. You can keep your reputation intact by dealing with reputable magazines, like Rocking Stone here. But if you always sell to the highest bidder, you could end up actually blackmailing people. And this is a bad thing? Well, if you're considered to be really the sleaziest of the sleazy, no one will give you tips anymore, and you can actually get ridden out of town. Hey, if you've got the money, why should that matter? You know something? You may be really good at this game. So what's the TV for? You have time to be watching the tube when you should be out earning a living with your filthy western ways? Actually, the TV and your answering machine are very useful for supplying clues, from the straightforward to the downright cryptic. The six television channels also supply the funniest moments. Not everything there is useful by a long shot. There's the fireplace channel, a never-ending fishing show, things like that. But paparazzi just doesn't fill the bill as either a game or a comedy. The footage frequently looks amateurish, and so does the actor. Now wait a minute, I thought you said that mugging for the camera was a good thing. Belly laughs, stuff like that. It's only good if combined with a certain elusive thing called timing. It does pop up here every now and then, but overall, this is not worth the price of admission. Rent a tape or something.